Well, this rusty glove box here today at the shop, what we're going to be doing is uh, going to do another compressor project. Uh, so far, so good on my copper tubing on the wall, and it's, it's helped some. Uh, but what I'm going to try to do is maybe remedy a little bit of the moisture issue before it actually hits the tank. It can kind of eject it out of there. So with the help from uh, the disorderly one, he helped me once before, he suggested I go to Harbor Freight. They've got a real cheap, inexpensive little water ejector you can add to your compressor uh, to the bottom of the tank. And so let's go check it out. Well, this is the, the automatic compressor drain kit or water ejector uh, that mounts to the bottom of your air tank. And the part number is 68244. Uh, the kit comes with a little ejector valve, some hose, uh, comes with this fitting and this little drain valve. Uh, I'm gonna change some of this because this is pretty thin. I had some thicker brass that I'm gonna use and uh, I'm going to use instead of this plastic tubing, I have some uh, soft copper I'm going to use. This little instruction book that comes with it and it gives all the information and safety precautions and everything. Shows the different components in the kit, how you should hook it up. Has even some colored pictures, shows a couple of different options, how your compressor might be configured and how they want it hooked up on the bottom of the tank. So really pretty easy install. Well what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take uh, the unloader line that connects up to the valves of the compressor and this little line comes over here to your cutoff switch and uh, what that does is for easy startup the uh, compressor will have no load on it. Well here I got this uh, tree all put together that uh, I've got my pop-off valve on and I also have a hand valve there uh, to manually drain the tank and uh, probably so I'm going to go ahead and get up on the floor and get that up under there and tie it into the tank. Well this will probably be a little noisy but we're going to see if uh, this thing works now. So I'm going to bleed the air down and uh, the compressor will kick on and we'll see if that thing spits when the compressor cuts off. Well, it gave just a little spit, so I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do. That well, what I did, I tied into the uh, unloader line, which is uh, it unloads the valve, so when you first fire up the compressor, uh, it's easy to turn over and then when it starts building up some air pressure uh, the compressor starts pumping and I use that copper tubing instead of that plastic line run on down connect it under the tank I've got an additional hand operated drain valve under there too and a little catch pan and uh, seems like it's worked out pretty good. I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Uh, I'll probably give it a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll try that hand drain valve and see if it's uh, collected any additional moisture that that little mister can't get rid of. So anyway, we'll give that a try. Well, I'm really looking forward to giving that uh, water ejector valve a good try out and uh, going to see how well it does. Going to wait a couple of weeks probably and I'm going to see if that tank drains uh, any by operating that hand operated valve, see if I get any extra moisture out of there. But I uh, feel pretty confident that this thing, the little spitter valve, is going to keep the tank nice and dry. And that will help uh, eliminate a lot of the moisture coming out of the end of the, of the air hose. So anyway, y'all give this a try if you'd like. I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glovebox, and I'm out of here.